Hey, so check this out. So today, I think I'm gonna make a video on talking finances. Yeah, that's right. So I basically have <clears throat> learned a lot over the last couple of years. And, and part of that learning is just learning about investments. I've always been against 401ks, having other people control your money, right? Um, you can do that on your own. You can invest in the stock market on your own. Yeah. Poof. Crazy, huh? So anyways, the idea behind it though is just start. Start with putting the extra money in there. Start with finding, doing a little bit of research on what companies to invest in. Uh, a lot of people just say, hey, invest in the S&P 500, blah, 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 blah. So uh, I was investing some stuff and then I pulled everything because, you know, things were going down and, and uh, obviously a lot of people who held, I mean, it came back. They came back. I didn't lose any money, but I was investing some money that I usually keep uh, in an account. I call it my winter fund. So I have a winter fund that basically is for the winter because if it doesn't snow, I still got to make money, right? Well, take that back. I don't, I don't have to make money, but I, I have bills to pay. Sorry, I said that wrong. Uh, if it doesn't snow, I still got to pay bills. I still got to hook my brother-in-law Matt up with his money. Uh, I promised him from the beginning that, you know, I'll take care of you during the winter time, snow or no snow. So, uh, I pay him more on like a salary base because if it doesn't snow, we didn't get snow the rest of the month, but I didn't make money, but I had to make sure that I have those funds so that we can pay our bills and I can pay him the money I owe him. So anyways, long story short, just kidding. There's no story here and it's not short. It's long. I can talk about this shit all day long, but reality is, is a lot of people out there need to be better with their money, uh, make smarter decisions with their money. Um, <clears throat> basically nowadays with the way the interest rates are going, there's a lot of accounts out there that you can actually make money off of. So for instance, let's start off with uh, my bank. It basically pays me 5% in my regular checking account up to $10,000. So I could have a minimum of $10,000 in there and I would be accruing interest daily on the amount that's in there daily. So if I had a minimum of 10,000 in there and everything else I added into it to pay my bills, that $10,000 could potentially make me about $40 a month, I believe, if my math is correct. 40 bucks a month. Just off a regular checking account, that's awesome. Uh, the savings account that I've got tied to that makes 4.5%. So there's some requirements in the checking account. I've got to spend or use it about 12 times, right? Well, it doesn't matter if it's an online bill pay, whatever. Basically is when I pay my city electric bill, the gas bill, if I go get gas, it all counts as a purchase. Um, and so the check, the, the savings account that's tied to that makes 4.5%. So any money I make or have in there, it's making me money. Third is Robin Hood. Yeah, I know a lot of people back in the day with the whole GameStop and a lot of stuff has some bad feelings about Robin Hood because, you know, they halted some stuff. But in the recent years, I've seen all the other apps halt stuff I had uh, Ameritrade they halted some stuff one day but I could buy the same stuff on Robinhood so tell me how that works they all do it um, but Robinhood basically has a 5% on cash so my cash savings winter fund whatever you call it I moved it from my bank account and I put it into Robinhood and it's making me 
Now, the way they do that is you can look it up on your own, but they fluctuate your money between a bunch of different high, higher end banks. I don't know, Bank of America. I don't know, some of these banks. I don't know which one specifically, but at your bank, you can put $250,000 into your savings account and it's federally insured. Well, the way Robinhood does that is they split it up. So if I've got over $250,000, I'm not gonna put it all in my bank account. I'm gonna take anything left over and put it in another bank account to make sure that it's insured, right? If you don't, that's what you do. Just kidding, this, I'm, I'm no financial advisor. This is just things I do on my own. Some people might benefit off of if they do it too. So, uh, yeah, like I said, Robinhood, 5% off of cash. I don't have, I've got a little bit invested into stocks because I want to invest into some stocks that pay a dividend. But right now, I'm literally getting a 5% dividend. So with all the money you put into your account, say you got $10,000. Well, you're gonna take that $10,000, you're gonna times that by 5%, and then you're gonna take that number and divide that by 12. That's going to be the number that you will receive every single month from Robinhood if you put that money in there. So, anyways, just a little bit of financial, uh, not advice, but just things that I'm doing. Because sometimes I talk about this to some people and people are like, what? I didn't know that. So, I'm going to try to talk a little bit more on here about things that I'm doing financially. Um, whether that be, you know, why I chose to go get a loan for the equipment versus paying cash for it or whatnot. So stay tuned. There's going to be some more videos on stuff like that. But for now, I got to go get this dog food out of my truck because I have a ton of dogs. And man, they eat dog food. Oh, these dang tailgate. I swear, this newer stuff, man. They just like tailgate lock. It's kind of cool, actually. Cool little feature. It's gonna rain though, so I gotta get this dog food out of here. What? Come on. Here we go. Let's go. Let's see. All right, come on, tailgate. Oh, there we go. I don't even think it will shut all the way. I didn't shut it, I, my buddy Skyler did. Anyway, so check this out. They got the high protein dog food this time. Stay tuned, more videos on this. Head down, get you something from Amazon. Bucked up, LED light bulbs, um, and smile. This morning, I smiled. I'll tell you what, I can already feel the effects it's had on my day. It's a good day. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way 